listen. This is the road to the ski lift, isn't it? Uh, sorry, I don't know. No! No, I'm just making a western here, man. Oh! <laughs> Doesn't it snow in Montana? This brings up new problems, like horses who don't like snow. don't like the snow, neither do technicians or actors in sub-zero temperature. Of course, snow on the mountains calls for snow on the set. Would you believe 26 tons of shaving cream? These are only a few of the problems director Sergio Corbucci had to solve. Sergio Corbucci, you are directing your seventh Italian Western, The Great Silence. What do you think is the reason for the success of this type of film? Uh, success? Ah, the Westerns. Uh, uh, the main reason, I believe, is that, well, uh, we assume or, or uh, recreate the atmosphere of our time, a time of violence. Uh, violence uh, without reason and often just for the sake of violence. Uh, it's uh, the same, I think, the main reason for the success of the films of James Bond. In this film, Mr. Corbucci, have you much death and violence? Uh, well, you probably know that I am a Roman, and uh, at home, in some class, is presumed to be the skeleton of Nero, who is proving to be a good example for me. Uh, yes, I am killing a lot of people. <laughs> I have killed more people than Nero and Caligula. But each time, it's more difficult for me to find a new uh, method of murder. Uh, that could be used... <laughs> Uh, in each film. I have used revolvers and Winchesters. Uh, I have killed with uh, dynamite, with gas, with fire, with... Uh, I cut many things. Uh, I have cut ears and uh, made my characters eat their own ears. In this film, I cut thumbs. I don't make my actors eat them because... <laughs> because they refused. Unfortunately, I killed too many people. I would like to make a film like I did... Uh, much earlier like them I made when I was beginning. My people usually lived. When I wasn't making westerns, I wouldn't shoot anybody. 
Now, in this film, I notice that you're not recording any direct sound. How do you arrange this with your actors? <laughs> uh, speech, uh, usually in Westerns, of minor importance because we use every nationality, French, uh, Mexican, American. It is often better for the actors to count uh, uh, than uh, to speak. For example, uh, the Frenchman would say, and de toi, the American says, uh, one. That means yes, but it could mean anything. It's unimportant, that's why I hate Westerns. After this, Mr. Corbucci, what films will you do? A Western, naturally. Jean-Louis Tritignon. Do you enjoy doing a Western? It is fun. I enjoy it. This is one of the tricks of the Western. You start with your head down, then you catch a ray of light under the hat, then down with your head and up again like this. Since you're known primarily as a romantic actor, don't you find it strange to play in a Western? Romantic? Not so much. I have done a lot of films which are more serious or intellectual. But it's fun to be in a film which is the complete opposite of what I've been doing. As the hero, do you kill many people? Yes, maybe 30. In the first two minutes of the film, I've already killed four professional killers who ambush me. Somehow I get them before they get me. It goes on that way until I kill about 40. What part do you play? I play the part of a mute. The audience won't realize it because during the first two-thirds of the film, there's no reason for him to speak. I like it because in most Westerns, they talk too much and say nothing. Is it an easy part? <laughs> yes, but not physically. It's difficult for me because I'm basically clumsy. I hurt myself all the time, like when I draw my gun. Did you have to practice a lot? Oh, have I? In the film, every time I draw my gun, I have to take my glove off. So at home, I used to practice it with a sock in my hand and a long-stemmed artichoke in my pocket. And I used to go through the motions, taking off the sock, reaching for the artichoke, and... Guarda, Gianluigi, piano. Attenta. Guardalo ancora. Ora vai alla pistola, vai. Cerca di essere dritto, prendi la pistola. Provaci, spingila. 